<gasps> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. It isn't Goku. Well, I'll make quick work of you. This could be fun. Guess I'd better look for more. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this! So that's all, huh? He be this power, it's unlike anything I've ever felt before. Well, now, this could be fun. That stone's shaped just like a bridge. I'll make quick work of you. You could never beat me. Stone Arch, huh? Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait. If that... Hmm, what's your mix? Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just what was it with this guy? No way! 
Now, time to show you what real power looks like. <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <clears throat> Im impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then, allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait, what about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Ugh. Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. 
The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Uh, what the hell's with this guy? What's wrong? Are you scared? You're not brother! You're nothing to me! Yeah, go on, get out of here! Kakarot, don't turn your back on your family! You're evil! What the hell happened to your tail? I had it cut off a long time ago. Oh, why would you do that? Do you know what? This planet isn't half bad. I think it could serve as our next target. The three of us Saiyans should be able to rid this place of it. Death wait just one month. Not gonna let that happen. to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Give him back! And don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> Dragon radar? Oh, I get it! That decoration on Gohan's hat was a Dragon Ball! Alright, I'm off! It's now or never! You're as good as dead on your own! Piccolo! Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture, I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Huh? 
Thank you! <sighs> hey! Yeah! Flying Nimbus! Hold tight, Gohan! We're coming! Earth's dream team to the rescue! Just a little longer. Goku, get a move on. Quit messing around. That bridge is massive! His tail's probably his weak point. If we can squeeze his tail, he should be vulnerable. That's what happened whenever mine got grabbed. How are we supposed to grab his tail? That's pumped up and ready to go! So that's all, huh?
We're closing in on them. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No. He's using a device that tells him our strengths as well as our location. Safe to say he probably knows we're close by. Gotcha. I'm guessing that means we've just got to meet him head on. This? A power level of 710? Where the hell? K Kakarot's kid? No way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one? No, there's two. With power levels 322 and 334. They've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back. Where is he? You're hiding him somewhere, aren't you? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength. Man, he's fast. Your combined power, you're still pathetic. But considering you weren't smart enough to heed my warning, don't deserve to live. You, you gotta be kidding me! You know what? Since you're going to die anyway, I might as well tell you something. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier? They're even more powerful than me. If you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death! I'm just gonna need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> gonna need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. You? Alone? What were you two trying to decide who gets to die first? We ain't planning on losing. Yeah! Yeah! Right there! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
He's got that much control over his energy! You let your guard down! Now I've got your tail! Damn it! When did you... Good work, Goku! Hold on to that tail and don't let go no matter what! Wait! Let me go! I'll leave this planet in peace! Don't listen to him, Goku! He's trying to trick you! Please, please, believe me, brother! I'm begging you, Kakarot! Don't do this to your only family! I can't believe you fell for it! You might actually be the dumbest guy I've ever met! Don't think I'm going to show you mercy just because you're my little brother. Yes! Yes, that's what I like to hear! It'll all be over soon! Don't get comfortable! You're next! Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it! Impossible! I... I can't be beaten by scum like this! I can't! <laughs> well, you just were. <laughs> I, I... I can't believe that Kakarot would just throw away his own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. Uh, damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe. Once they've learned that I've died, they will come here. How long until then? When will they... 
When do you think they'll get here? A year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! <clears throat> Trillin, you know... Dying... is a lot worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry! We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Eh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. What? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, Tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz. The bastard went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth.